Now we will see how to create a geospatial database and load data in it using QGIS, PostgreSQL and PostGIS. So, first of all, go to postgis.net and then go to download. I have a Windows system, so I will go to the Windows Downloads. The installers are available on this link, OSGEO Downloads. And here we can see some very important instructions of how to enable uh, PostGIS in PostgreSQL, which we will see later on. So go to this link. So here go to the most recent folder, which is this one. And again, select the most uh, recent version of uh, PostGIS. Here it is uh, 3.1.4 and download it. And so uh, this version of PostGIS uh, uses PostgreSQL 9.6. You must remember this version for uh, later on. Okay, so the PostGIS installer has been downloaded. So now go to postgresql.org. Click on download. Uh, Windows. Download the installer. And now uh, we want version 9.6 for Windows. and download the installer of uh, PostgreSQL. The downloading has finished, so now run the PostgreSQL installer. Run it with all the default settings and provide a password for your um, PostgreSQL uh, account. leave all the default settings okay the installation has now finished uh, you don't have to run stack builder and now we can run the PostGIS installer Again, use all the default settings. Okay, the installation is complete. Now we have to add the PostgreSQL bin directory to our Windows path. So go to this uh, directory and copy the path then go to properties advanced system settings and then go to environment variables Go to path, edit, and add the path. Okay. In order to create an empty database, open the PostgreSQL application called PG Admin. Enter your password. Go to databases, create database. 
uh, name your database mail. Here we name it name, mail database. And then uh, you have to create the extensions that will allow Postgres and PostGIS to connect. So go to Tools, uh, Curie Tool, and then in here type create extension postgis click on run and then you have to connect postgis raster to add vector layers to the database open the postgis application. Uh, now uh, we have to connect the geodatabase we created before by clicking on view connection details. Username is Postgres by default unless you changed it. Here is the database name. And here we can see that the connection succeeded. And now we click on Add File. And then we go to the folder we have our data. Click on Open. And then Import. And here we can see that the shape file has been imported. So in the same way you can continue adding all the vector layers needed for the project to your database. Now in order to add raster layers to the database uh, we will use a different procedure. Uh, we will use the raster to pgsql tool uh, which will be available through command prompt and this is feasible because we previously added the PostgreSQL uh, bin path to our Windows system path. So open a command and now um, type in raster to pgsql then S is for the spatial reference system. Here it's the European one uh, which has the EPSG code 3035. T is for creating tiles and we use the automatic mode. I Uh, then we add the path uh, to uh, the raster file we want. For example, here let's add the Hansen tree cover raster layers. For example, I want to add this one. Following this, the public dot Hansen denotes that um, this raster will be in the public schema and its name would be Hansen. And then afterwards is the PSQL command, uh, which is uh, related to the PostgreSQL and the database connection. So after this, uh, we say that the database will be the mail database to add this raster in. Username is Postgres and the port number is by default 4432.
then hit enter um, enter your password and the raster has started to be inserted to the database and this is what it would look like when the process has finished so now we can see in the mail database in the public schema if we refresh we can see in tables the vector file we added the European coastline and also the raster file we added so you can continue in the same way to add all the raster files that will be needed for the project. Finally, to connect the database created to QGIS, first open QGIS, and in the browser panel, right click on PostGIS, click on New Connection, and now fill in the connection information. Our uh, connection can be named mail. Host is localhost. Database is mail database. Test the connection. Okay, the connection was successful. Click OK. So now we can see that we have our new connection with the data that was added. And now you can drag and drop the layers of the database you want to work with in the QGIS layer panel to load the layers. Okay, thank you for your attention.